Matt Reif, a 28-year-old comedian, has been making waves in the comedy scene after putting in years of hard work in small clubs. He has recently been the subject of a dedicated cancel culture campaign, but he responded with wit and bravery. In a conversation with Jordan Peterson, he discusses his experience with the cancel culture, his approach to comedy, and his plans for the future. Reif explains that he likes to tell modern twists on classic jokes, drawing from real-life experiences and adding his own personal touch. He acknowledges that his humor may not be for everyone and gives the audience the option to turn off the TV if it's not their cup of tea. He talks about his early start in comedy, beginning at the age of 15 and working his way up through open mics and small clubs. He shares how he reached out to a comedy club owner in Atlanta via Twitter and eventually moved there to pursue his comedy career. He also discusses his experience on MTV's Wild Out and how it helped him gain confidence and sharpen his wit. Rife reflects on his journey from being a shy kid to becoming a confident comedian. He explains that he developed a defense mechanism of using humor to deflect bullying and criticism, which eventually led to a genuine sense of confidence. He also discusses the fine line that comedians walk in terms of being funny without being too mean and the importance of intent in comedy. The conversation delves into the psychological function of comedy, comparing it to the experience of watching a horror movie. Reif explains that comedy often involves toying with the forbidden and pushing boundaries, allowing the audience to voluntarily engage with uncomfortable truths in a controlled environment. Reif expresses his frustration with the lack of consideration for the context and environment of comedy. He believes that people should be able to choose what type of humor they want to engage with, and that if a joke is not for them, they can simply choose to ignore it. He also discusses the impact of social media on the access to status and attention, and how people are willing to misuse accusations to garner attention. The conversation then delves into the nature of Reif's humor, particularly his use of dark humor and exaggeration to make light of tragic situations. He explains that making light of dark topics can help people heal and cope with difficult experiences. Peterson also shares his perspective on the importance of being able to make light of tragedy and how it can be a sign of mastery over difficult subjects. Reif and Peterson discuss the response to Reif's controversial jokes and the criteria for selecting which jokes to keep in his routine. Reif explains that the most important response he looks for is genuine laughter from the audience, and that he relies on his instincts to gauge the audience's reaction to his jokes. He also talks about the changing demographics of his audience and the reasons behind the shift in his fan base. The conversation then turns to the topic of cancel culture and the impact of social media on public shaming. Reif shares his experience with being canceled and how he responded with a misdirected apology that redirected to an online store for special needs helmets. He explains that the response was not calculated, but rather a spontaneous decision based on his instinct for what he found funny. Reif and Peterson discuss the consequences of apologizing in the face of cancel culture and the potential benefits of not backing down. Reif shares that he gained more fans than he lost across all platforms as a result of the controversy and that the extremities of the outrage have been beneficial for his career. He also discusses how the controversy has brought his work to the attention of a whole new demographic.